Then disaster for Ken and Elfrida Stein and Raul Paulson. Normally this would take only one minute to change, but the hole was so large that it required an inner tube to be put in. Alp goal flashed past them without a second glance. To their horror, the Ken and Elfrida Stein team found they had the wrong connection for their inflation canister and could not Somebody inflate the tyre. Desperately they tried to stop other Did teams. A helping hand came in the form of Etta Hoyldahl from Norway and immediately the tyre was inflated. But they had still lost 10 minutes. Could they make it up? Up Gold had found renewed energy in their legs after they had passed the GC leaders. Meanwhile, Ken and Elfrida Stein were back on the road, but how far back were they? The only company that Ken and Elfrida Stein had was the crew camera bike. But they could not help them, and with water bottles running empty, they were in desperate straits. On the wider farm roads, the 14 breakaway were really turning on the pace. But going even faster were the young men from Alpgold, and with every pedal stroke they narrowed the gap on the four leading teams. As Alpgold's ride seemed to grow stronger, things were going really wrong for the Cannondale Friedestein team. Raul Paulson had lost his back wheel completely and was riding on his rim. How long was that rim going to last in these conditions? With the last hill in sight, Alp Gold caught up with the three breakaway teams. Now there were four. Who was going to take the sprint into Red Arstall? They had been friends now for the last two hours. Suddenly, they became suspicious enemies.